my loves, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm very excited to get this video up for you guys. Number one, because I'm consistent with it. You know that you can expect me here every Monday. But number two, my energy has really been soaring. My heart has been soaring. My spirit has been soaring. I don't know if you guys can feel it or see it in my voice, my presentation, and the, the environment that I've been around and what it's been like. It's been really, really good. So the level of gratitude that I have for this space within my life has been huge. It's been sig significantly huge and I'm just so grateful for it. And it's moments like these when I'm able to sit with you guys and connect that remind me every week, this is good. Anything that happens to us is for this reason here. And I really want to remind you of that. Emphasis on the word remind. It was in my meditation this morning when I was preparing for our messages and what I could see that spirit, our angels, our guides wanted to deliver to us today. I could see the word reminder and then I also heard the word breaking ground. And then I accepted that message, I received it, but then I started shuffling my cards. And the cards that I pulled are the Empress, the Eight of Cups, and the Ace of Pentacles. Sorry about that, I had a phone call come through and for some reason my Do Not Disturb doesn't work on some of my devices. But anyways, with the Eight of Cups here and the Empress and the Ace of Pentacles, what I'm, see what I'm feeling, what I'm sensing is this act of surrender and submission. I feel like some people are having a hard time with the word submission because they are almost nine of wands energy, kind of fighting out, fighting back, and they don't want to succumb to the obstacles, the past issues that have created the wounds that they are experiencing today. And they, or they have their mind so set on a goal that they lock into it and they just cannot relinquish their grip. They cannot let go of their grip. When you tap into the Empress energy, you are being called to remember who you are. To the core of who you are, the essence of your being, you are literally made of stars. You're literally made of stardust. You are a product of divine creation. Nothing that is for you will pass you. So that means that yes, you can build towards a plan, you can act towards a plan, but at some point there has to be a healthy balance where your energy that you have put out gets restored and is given back to you. So that's what I'm seeing here is for some it's like a meditative state where you allow yourself to be calm, to be centered, to be grounded, and to allow yourself to flow and to receive. That is why I believe the word that came through for this week is the word reminder. It's a reminder of who you are. It's a reminder. This is sometimes the best way in order to allow yourself to receive the best that your life has to offer and to give to you or to receive the best that the universe has in store for you. Sometimes it's not all about you jumping and diving or securing the bag or pushing out or screaming out or yelling out or convincing anyone of your worth. Sometimes the best thing that you can do is to, to gather your energy, to pull your energy in, to center it, to remind yourself and remind others of your worth, not by speaking it out loud, but allowing that seed that has already been embedded within you bloom, grow, and be prosperous, and that is going to help you to thrive. That's going to help you to own your power, step into your power, and not settle for anything less than what it is that you deserve. Now, at the time of me filming this, I am looking at the chart, and there is a emphasis on these planets crowded in the sign of Capricorn. I've been called and guided to keep these videos a little bit more timeless, so that's what it is that I'm gonna do. So if you are watching this video in the future or from the past or in the present, from because what is time? Honestly, what is time anymore? No matter what time it is that you're watching this, I can sense that there is the energy around you is very stubborn, it's very resilient, but it's also very like it's it's pushing back, it's very obstinate, it's not 
going to move if it doesn't want to move and even if you try to convince it to move no matter how awesome your argument is no matter how powerful your words are they or it is resistant to transition to transformation to doing anything other than what it's doing or what it has its mindset on so knowing that you have to know what it is that you're working with and you have to do differently you have to move differently you have to move in alignment with what is right for you and what is good for you and the sometimes you know what as i'm actually saying that i was actually called to say that some of you guys this eight of cups energy that i'm seeing it's it's actually because you've become so invested in what you have secured or what you are trying to secure what you're trying to achieve what you're trying to accomplish sometimes it's an intention something that you've already set intention for that you want to see manifest you're having a hard time taking your hands off of it i am actually feeling like some of you guys are asking the question again and again when is this going to happen how's this going to happen what do i have to do to make this happen this is a part of the reminder of Stop asking those questions. Allow the universe to do what it does that ultimately usually ends up surprising us. And that's the beauty of it. The universe is trying to almost romance you. The universe is almost trying to build this intimate relationship and connection with you where it is free to provide you with nourishment. It's free to provide you with gifts and blessings and abundance and allow you to see these signs and things materializing. But it wants to surprise you. It wants to, to give you flowers at your doorstep. It wants to show you, I was thinking about you. I haven't forgot about you. I haven't forgotten about your wish. You are in the forefront of my mind. But there's also some things that I'm doing for you now but just stop watching me, stop checking in, because every time you check in, I have to like, it's like a distraction, and it kind of locks everything up. So that's, it, that, that's almost, honestly the best metaphor that I can give. That's the connection and the relationship that I'm seeing with the divine right now. The other thing that I'm feeling with the Empress card is there are a lot of you guys that are so connected to what you know you're about to receive. <laughs> You are so connected and it gets you so excited and it it just you're just ready to see it Like you're just you just in your mind You can't even believe that you haven't seen it yet because you're like I know it's here I know it's present but that's a part of the process of literally relax relax get a massage Go out with your friends go for a swim have pleasure and joy and fun because that's what's going to help it to manifest. That's why I feel like this is where this breaking ground word is coming through because the more that you actually, it's not even rerouting, but just kind of refocusing your attention elsewhere, the more we enter into the space of Eight of Cups energy, not that we're saying goodbye to something, but we're just kind of being like, okay, it's cool, it's cool, I'm a goddess, I'm a queen, I'm a king, this is going to be fine, everything is good, everything is dandy, let me take care of what I need to take care of today, and let me give gratitude for everything, because that is everything, right? So, yes, I was called to do things a little differently as I'm even in the flow right now, I'm getting so many signs and feelings of confirmation and clarity within my spirit right now saying that we are right on track I do want to kind of break down um, this week into piles, into different groups that you can choose from. If you guys love these types of readings with this pick a card, different group pile variation. So we'll try it out. We'll see what we feel. We see, see if we like it. If you want to see more of these videos, by all means, let me know down in the comments. My intention is not to steer anyone in the wrong direction, especially with these general readings, because what we talk about is so specific and I want to make sure that everyone is manifesting to their highest potential. If you do want to do this, this is to add on to what it is I'm seeing within the chart with an addition intuitive message for cards that I'm going to shuffle and pull for you. So if you are drawn to this, um, I almost said shell, I don't know why, but if you are drawn to this quartz, this is a spirit quartz and it's having a hard time focusing, but maybe that in itself is a message. I love this crystal because it is abundantly beautiful and I've worked with it many a time. The next one was given to me as a gift. It is a heart-shaped crystal, quartz crystal, 
and I love this beauty as well. So this is for those that pick group number two. And then the last crystal that I was drawn to today is this infinitely gorgeous selenite wand that you can use for directing energy and manifesting. So I'll allow you guys to take a moment and to connect with that. All right, so for those that picked the spirit quartz, I'm gonna put that here for you. I do want to say that I, I'm working a lot with lighter cards lately. So I have the Unicorn Oracle here. And there's two cards that jumped out for you just to start with. And it's the card of Hope. And then also Possibility. Okay. And then from the Good Tarot, we have Seven of Fire. This one wants to jump out. Four of air, wow. And then one more, okay, two more. Look at that, look at that, see? Messenger of earth, four of earth, oh my gosh, you guys have more than three. Two of earth and empress. So right away, what I'm sensing and what I'm feeling from this, seven of, I wanna, I wanna start with a seven of fire. It's interesting too because this is the unicorn. There's a unicorn in the center of the center of it, and this is from the Good Tarot. The first thing that I feel is interesting because I feel like this card connects me to this one, the card of hope. And I feel as though with the seven of fire, this is a person, what I'm getting is this is a person who knows what they want, but is feeling or has been feeling defeated. I feel as though, definitely with Seven of Fire, this is, I need to prove myself, I need to push myself, push myself to the limit, I need to assert myself, assert my dominance, don't let anyone catch me off guard, don't let anyone catch me, you know, slipping, is what I'm going to say. And the reason why is because you know that where you're headed is better than where you're at currently or where it is that you've come from, it almost feels as though, as I'm saying this, it almost feels as though the odds are stacked against you. It feels as though a person who's defeated the odds to get to where they are now, but even still, that's not where they sh where they want to be, where they see themselves staying. They have a future. They have direction. But in that, and there's going to be um, some fire alarms going by, if you guys hear any sirens. But in that, it's almost like you're doing too much. You know what I mean? It, you're definitely doing too much because it's, it almost has turned into survival mode and not thriving mode. And this makes a lot of sense because these cards, the Empress, the Eight of Cups, the Ace of Pentacles remind you that it's not, you, sometimes you actually have to kind of bend and fold a little bit, be a lot more flexible in order for you to receive ultimately what is it you want for yourself. Yes, there is hope. Yes, there's possibility. I almost feel as though you seeing the possibility has almost at, turned inward. It's almost as if you've seen the potential that's out there and you've internalized it and almost are beating yourself up by trying so hard to get things done. It's like, I'm, almost get, I'm getting this vision of someone who's on in Hawaii on a surf like a ready to surf and these waves that are coming in are met they're huge like huge huge waves and they've been training for this their entire life but they're so excited to prove themselves they're so excited to win this championship they're so excited to start to surf that they're almost swimming like they're almost hitting the the water too soon too early when the best thing to do is to wait for the right moment and that's when it will coast but you've um, if you go too hard, too too fast, too soon, when that right moment comes, you're gonna feel like you're not gonna be able to perform to your maximum capacity because you're gonna be so exhausted, beating beating the beating the waves, beating the ocean, beating yourself, trying to jump up before it's too before it's um, your time. So that's something that I'm seeing. The other thing that I'm seeing with this, the messenger of Earth, is I hear the word your voice. I feel like you're, and it's so funny because the messenger of earth is very grounded and very centered, but I get 
earth on fire <laughs> like I'm getting earth you know like like plants burning like you're burning sage I can almost smell it you're burning sage you're burning herbs you're doing candle magic so you've been trying to like manifest or maybe that's what your environment is around like maybe you're maybe there are fires in your area but I'm seeing the earth on fire and what I'm getting from that is a, a metaphor or a symbol for your words speak power I feel as though you have to be, obviously, you have to be very conscious and aware of what it is that you're saying, what it is that you're speaking, what it is that you're putting out there. Whether you are consciously aware of it, that when you're you know, sitting down at your altar or burning a candle or writing down your intentions or creating a vision board, whatever it is that you're doing, your prayers, whatever, I think that you need to be, like, I know, I think that you know that your words are power, but I almost feel as though you have to kind of pull in and stop trying to piece everything together to like right now. I feel as though with the four of air here, this is the card of rest and recuperation and recovery and and I'm going to say regeneration. Why regeneration? Because I am seeing the earth like earth and fire together, burning herbs, burning sage, you know, cleansing this energy of cleansing, but I feel as though if you're taking the two of earth, like you're, you're taking this piece and this piece and you're trying to make it make sense, like make it make sense. And the reality is, is that you're, it's good that you have all this fire and passion behind, but also Empress energy, my love, Empress energy, four of air. You've already put the words out there. You've already spoken and created the possibility, you've, you've created the, um, the opportunity. It just may or may not have presented itself in full context yet. And you're taking what you can see currently and trying to make it work and trying to create the bigger picture when the reality is, is you only have two pieces of the puzzle You'll, and when you need a, a lot of pieces to make this puzzle come together. So allow yourself to really kind of rest, stay positive, keep your energy lifted. I'm. There's different ways I'm seeing um, that you guys can work this energy. I was gonna say physical activity, like going to the gym, but I'm actually feeling creative projects. I'm feeling, um, in, I'm not seeing it in the cards, but I'm, I'm getting the word collaboration, where you're working with like-minded people, you're networking. I feel as though there's so many different things out there that are going to help you to network, but go to different events that spark your creativity because there's going to be different pieces of the puzzle that you'll find at those different things, at those different, making those different connections that are going to help you to get all of what you need right now in order to make it all come together ultimately. So that's what I'm seeing for you guys. Wow, that was really like really really lit <laughs> literally and figuratively that was pretty lit so i love that i love that all right so let's move on to the next card or the next group and that is the crystal the heart crystal quartz all right so if you chose the heart quartz i'm going to put it right here for you i was telling group number one or those that pick the spirit quartz that i've been really drawn to like lighter energy lately so flowers naturally you guys know me but unicorn energy for sure so i have the cards for you growth and also polarity let me shuffle some cards for you and see what else is coming through for you okay five of earth wow ace of air interesting the emperor interesting there's a connection here between the quartz group and those that chose spirit quartz. I don't know if you guys have, if you felt maybe pulled to pull from group number one as well. And just let's do one more. Okay, king of earth and 10 of earth. Wow, okay, give me a minute. There's definitely a feeling here I'm getting of, um, if you feel called to, listen to group number one. But when you listen to group number one, I don't want to say internalize it, but it's very like nourishing. <laughs> like you're, there, there's something about the spirit or not spirit quartz, but there's something about um, the crystal quartz that needs to hear, needs to be nourished. They need to feel like an empress. They even if you're not feminine energy, like if you're not mo you know predominantly feminine, you still need to be nurtured, supported, 
told that you're beautiful, told that you're worth it, told that you're valued, you still need to be pampered in some way. Sometimes we get so stuck in, um, it almost reminds me, this is a really good metaphor. There's someone that I know that gets massages on the regular, but they only get deep tissue massages because they do a lot of hands-on uh, like physical work. Like they're moving with people a lot and it can get their body really tight. And they went there, so they get massages a lot and they call it an act of self-love and self like, um, you know, taking care of themselves. But the massages are just as aggressive and just as like, you know, um, they're there for a purpose, you know what I mean? To like get rid of the kinks and, but it's very hard on the body. And then they got a lighter massage. And at first they were so uncomfortable with it that they were like, I don't know if I like this, but they were like, you know what? Let me stay open to this. And the fact, the act of them moving from such an aggressive energy into a light, lighter energy, it took an adjustment period, but it was everything that they needed that they actually ended up crying and having an amazing experience because they had never been touched lightly, softly, nurtured, and gently in that way. Even them getting the massage, the energy of the massage was so intense and so aggressive that they weren't even used to being like lighter touch, feminine touch. So what I'm getting from this, for those of you guys that picked the hard courts, is that you have really become accustomed to this emperor energy, this very masculine, assertive, authoritative, almost rough, abrasive um, space. And that's not necessarily a bad thing because everything serves its purpose, but there has to be a balance at some point. And what I'm feeling is, oh my God, see? That makes a lot of sense. I, it just dawned on me. Polarity, it's literally, having both things wow both things come together not just assertive not just rough not just heavy-handed but nurturing soft supported flourishing is the word i feel like you need to get into a space of flourishing ace of air is okay and then oh my god you guys i just want to freaking hug you i want to hug you i want to put you in like a bath of flowers. I wanna wrap you up in flowers and put your oils on your body and you know, make sure that you feel good, that you feel like nourished. Because I feel like there's a lack of that this week. Ace of Air is good and I feel with the Ace of Air, this is the card of truth and honesty and strength and power in the mind with your words but also, I'm feeling a sense of sometimes too much brutal honesty can be brutal. You know what I mean? And with the five of earth, do you see this card? I don't know if you guys can see this, but I just find it so interesting that this card is green because it's connecting me to the heart chakra, but it's also connecting me to the space of what I said was I need to flourish. I'm going to flourish. And the way to help you flourish now, especially with this Empress energy and the Ace of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups, which is the overarching energy of what you need to hear now, is Five of Earth is like, listen, I don't need to be in a space where it's all, all only one side of this right? It's interesting because you got five of earth and you also got 10 of earth. So five of pentacles, 10 of pentacles, five of earth, five of pentacles is the halfway point to get you to total manifestation. But this is the polarity. So we got halfway to the halfway point. Now to get us to the rest, to get you to the final destination, we have to switch it up and switch polarities. So let's say you've been in a space of nourishing and being soft on yourself, maybe now it's time for you to get that blade of truth, that heavy hand, that, okay, go out and dominate. Or if you've been really dominant and very assertive and very aggressive, now it is time for you to enter into that space in order to get, you know, whole again of, okay, I need to receive. I need to be, um, you know, a little bit more quiet, a little bit more submissive, more receiving, more accepting and very protective of myself if i am going to allow these things to come in right 
that's the king of earth here oh my gosh you guys and i totally forgot that i pulled this card too growth this is what's going to help this is actually what is growing within your life and this is what's going to help you to flourish this is what's going to help you to grow the next stage because if you don't i actually feel like you'll be stuck in a space of well it was so interesting because i was doing 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 all of these things for this time and all of a sudden it was working and then all of a sudden it wasn't well, that's because you got to the halfway point and now it's time to switch it up. Now it's time to do it differently. Whatever it was that you were doing, almost kind of do the polar opposite or do it in a different space. The other thing that I'm seeing is I feel as though you are connecting to this space. Something about the five of earth, it's this light that's radiating from, from her. I don't see the five of earth as lack. I feel like it's the space, the middle ground, like you're in this center space, like this, you're straddling the line here and it's like once you've got to that point like I was saying what was working or the methods that used to it's almost the word that I just heard is the hits or the punches that I used to take or the punches that I used to give they don't hit the same way so it's like well yeah that's because the energy is becoming accustomed to it switch it up do it differently so that it does make an impact so you have to almost re not reroute but change your method of delivery change your energy change it up a little bit come to your center pull to your center i'm also seeing this sense with it's so funny so funny because the emperor is not connected to beauty but he's attracted to it he is and i feel as though when you pull into your center and you give to yourself you're and you it, let's say you are called to be in a space of, um, you know, pampering. It's going to make you radiate and it's going to make you a beacon of light. So this emperor energy is going to magnetize to you naturally. Let's say you are so used to pampering. Well, then maybe you're going to switch it up and be a little bit more like, that's what I want. This is not just relationships. Sometimes when I talk about this, people are like, you know, is it just relationship? No, it's not just relationships. It's a relationship with everything. It could be your career, whatever it is that you're manifesting, whatever it is that you currently have your mind set on. So you're just gonna switch it up. And it's, I feel like you're, this emperor energy is going to be drawn to the inner beauty, beauty the inner light. He's, he's, he, she, it um, is going to connect and be like, that's what it is that I want because it's undeniably radiant. Right? So that's what I'm seeing and all things are so connected here. I'm just feeling everything is all connected. So at some point it's got to switch in order for it to find its match. And then those hits that those words, your enchantment, you know, how you're using enchantment. It's like you're using your words, you're using your demeanor, you're using your body, you're using your charm in order to get what it is that you want. It hits differently. It hits the mark every time now because you switch it up so that's what it is i'm seeing for those of you guys um yeah i just find it so interesting i just feel like those that chose the courts you're at this halfway point and in order for you to continue to see growth now um because you were it's almost like you were seeing growth really fast or you're seeing things progress and then all of a sudden it got quiet and you're like wait what was working is no longer like it just doesn't or maybe it's like mild it's like if you take um it's like you, if something builds a, resi a resistance to you or you build a resistance to something. It's like, well, do it differently. And I say that, make sure that you're doing things from a space of healthy balance. Yeah, see, is a, even as I'm looking at this card, it says understand the law of polarity. That's working with both the shadow, the light, masculine and feminine, okay? So, yeah. And also, I'm getting this sense of polarity there's a line right in the in between where shadow ends and light begins <laughs> and um because there's two very different opposites here there's two different energies here and at that point it's a space of being centered coming to your center because that's the halfway point and then connecting with joy and then moving differently 
I hope that that make, makes sense, you guys. That and that's the Ace of Ace of Air. I could go on and on about this reading. I really could. <laughs> All right. So let's move on to those that chose the Selenite wand for manifesting and materializing and working your magic and setting intentions. First things first, a song just came to my head while I was setting the cards up, just kind of moving them. And I was looking at this card here. Um, it's from the Unicorn Oracle, I believe, and it's called Beloved, Prepare for Your Life Partner, Romance is Returning to Your Relationship, Believe You Are Lovable, and then also Friendship. So seek out your soul family, surround yourself with positive people, and spend more time socializing. This is so interesting because I am getting this sense of I'm not alone. Like I, I feel partnership. I feel unity. I feel support. I feel if there is a disconnection. Oh my gosh. Look, I did not even notice this. There is this unicorn here and this little tiny fire squirrel on his head and just really goes to show. And the, even this little unicorn here, these two unicorns are together. They're in this world together like you're my person you're my partner you're my best friend and i can't avoid and ignore these butterflies here over their head the three butterflies that to me is so symbolic because butterflies are all about transformation and transition and i feel like in this moment like and i heard this word i don't or this song a lot is coming through right now you guys so if you're like Jess, why are you stumbling over your words? It's because things are going rapidly. My intuition is lit up. But I heard here and now. I promise to love faithfully. Mm -mm. You're all I need. Here and now. Like for real. You guys need to listen to that song. It's like after all that we have gone through wow these cards are flying after all that we've gone through after all that we've gone through these are the cards i'm not even going to shuffle again yes after all that we've gone through and all that we've learned all that we've experienced together this i've learned i've transformed i've transitioned i'm different now and i feel as though it's this other and it's also you there's this huge energy around you of relationships needing to transform and to shift in order for them to become ultimately what is it they're going to be and as i'm saying this you guys look at the cards that it is that you have here for those that pick the selenite wand you have the fortune's wheel, so the wheel of fortune, this is about fate and karma and destiny and nothing comes before it's time. If you've connected with someone, I can relate to this in my own life because Saturn conjunct Pluto at the time of me filming this brought into my life a best friend that who was like a sister to me that I actually had to let go of because we had to go our journeys separately. I was learning boundary, well I'm not going to go into what I was learning and what she was learning, but we learned our lessons and the things that we had to do this separately. We could not do this together. And she was saying, listen, I kept thinking about you. You kept popping, popping up in my head and my third eye, my intuition. I felt like I need to call, talk to Jess. I need to ask her how she's doing. Meanwhile, I was feeling the same thing, but much like later. And it was because I was going through my own journey. And if we were to reach out before that time, it would have not been okay. It wouldn't have worked out. It would have been, I don't think we would have been able to receive it in the way that we should, in the way that we can now. Everything, timing is everything. And that's what I'm seeing is here and now. Literally, that's you guys' song. Um, here and now. That is where and like things are changing. That is when the lessons are learned. We have the justice card here. We have the temperance, the card of patience. Hey, my loves, so my battery died and I had, or not my battery, my storage got full. But anyways, like I was saying, I even when I was changing my, or deleting my files on my thing, the song was so loud. You're all I need. It's like legit, it was patience. You had to wait. You, even as I'm looking at this, she has the clock over her heart. You can't see it, but just trust me. It's She had to wait. Even as I'm looking at this, she's standing behind a pillar, and it's the justice card that was is standing in the traditional rider weight between two pillars, kind of straddling what is known and what is unknown, and the right account... I don't know why the word is accountability. Like, 
what is the right sequence of events as well to make something happen, to make, some, to make something manifest in order to keep or bring these two things, these two separate energies together. So that's what it is that I'm seeing. Interestingly here, I have the three of pentacles, three of earth, and the four of wands. And I feel like, and then the two of, two of fire, these are, wow, you guys, wow whoa this is wild this is wow okay i feel like who <laughs> if you're not setting intention for a best friend if you're not setting intention for family union and harmony if you're not setting intention for romance and relationships what is you doing it that's what you need to work on is or that's what you need to call out for now if you chose this group this is what it is that you're manifesting this is what it is that you're putting out there it is happening now there's a lot of love a lot of life as i'm looking at this you have the queen of cups and you have the king of cups also connected to emotion and intuition and they're coming together perfectly as i look at this card the queen of queen of cups she's almost breathing in what is who she is the other thing that I'm feeling is self-sufficiency. It's like I learned how to be self-sufficient. I learned how to be, to stand on my own two feet. And now, here and now, I can love infinitely. I can love you without having to compromise me. And the King of Cups had to go through what they had to go through in order to stand on their own two feet, in order to focus on their goals, in order to grow, and now, in this moment here and now i am ready and i feel as though legit you guys this is about timing it was about emotional growth spiritual growth mental growth physical growth just kind of work because some people are really working on themselves it wasn't just emotionally and mentally it was like i'm going to the gym I'm, and why because all of those things are important to you feeling whole and complete all on your own you need to be confident in yourself you need to know who it is that you are. Sometimes if you go a journey with someone, it's like you, you're, their friendship or their words in your head or their lifestyle choices that they're ultimately going to do because it's a friendship, because you're working in union, you almost compromise and you almost match what they're doing or where their path is taking them at that point. And it ends up being detrimental to your path and your growth so it's essential that at some points in your life you guys almost split and sep go separate ways so that you can do what you have to do and they have to do what they have to do in order for you guys to step into a space of ultimate joy and blessings and abundance as i'm saying this it's so funny because i'm getting the energy of the sun and i've been feeling this a lot in my personal life where it's like you guys know i was in new orleans for a minute and it was really dark <laughs> i was doing a lot of shadow work there and i left a lot of things back there not in a bad way where i dumped it but i transformed because of it and i there are people and things that i had to leave before i stepped into new orleans and there are people and things that i left when i left new orleans because it cannot come with me and as i did that the sunlight, you guys, the sunlight. And I am better because of it. I am ready because of it. Two of fire is, I know who I am, but I, and it's like, with the two of fire, it's, do I go this way? Do I go that way? And I feel as though with this card, it's, um, like, it's like two separate energies, two separate lives come together and they form. It's like they come into union together. And with it, the light gets bigger. But they couldn't do that if, if you know, the timing wasn't right. Because we would have one person that was a fire, um, a fire stick lit up already, and then we had the other one that just wasn't lighting. And it that person not lighting, which is fine, because that's where they're at in their journey. They're probably more quiet or working on themselves or going through whatever it is that they're going through. They would have put out the fire of the other person. Meanwhile, the person who's sparking would have kept trying to ignite that and exhausting themselves when they should be sparking all these other things. So it's separate energies that are coming together finally, and it's patience and justice. Nothing before it's time, everything when the time is right. So that's what it is that I'm seeing now we're able to create a hearth. Now we're able to create a fire. Now we, we can create a home, a family, a support system, a community, a tribe, 
a, a, a partnership, a union. That's what it is I'm seeing here. It's so interesting because this is the beloved and this is friendship. Here we are now, here and now, we're coming together with total in total unity. The three of earth, the three of pentacles is a collaboration. It's what are you bringing to the table? This is what I'm bringing to, to the table. This is what we can create. What are your tools? What are your resources? These are my tools. These are my resources. These are my strengths. These are my weaknesses. Now what can we create, right? And then we have, what else did we have here? The two of wands, again, sometimes with this two of wands card, it is which way do I go? What do I put that seed in? Where do I plant my, where do I put my energy at? But I'm seeing, what I'm seeing is, this is one bolt of lightning. This is another bolt of lightning. Those things merge together and we get a bigger bolt of lightning. Total, so incredible. And what is created because of that? Four of wands. This is our hearth, that's the word, hearth. This is our friendship, this is our family, this is our home, this is our home unit. This is where we belong, this is my beloved, this is my, my partner, this is my best friend. This is where I created this and it, it keeps burning now. It's not like, you know, lighting it, you're throwing a, a match into wet embers, you know what I mean, or wet, um, fire like um, leaves or something and it just won't catch it when you throw it it just naturally is like oh I was ready to burn well it's funny because I'm, I'm bringing the fire baby be ready to burn I'm bringing the fire what's up let's do it let's get lit <laughs> so that's what I'm seeing you guys it's totally beautiful even with the justice card some people don't see this card as romance or romantic at, at all but in your case I see it as almost I don't say twin flame but this is my partner in this life and now we're coming together because it is what we've been giving, what we've been putting out there. Now we get back, we've learned our lessons and now we can come together in a way that is right for both of us. And I'm seeing this light. So what I'm seeing is you guys really kind of melting into that and enjoying it and feeling the warmth of it and the blessing of it because you guys definitely earned it. You definitely earned it. And your time is now here and now. Is this mic on? I promise to love. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bet you didn't know I could sing. I don't know if I can or I can. I, I sing in the shower when I am called to, which is every other night. All right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you are subscribed to this YouTube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from, and I'll see you hopefully during our Astro Chat Live, which I go live every night, well, every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so I'll see you there. Bye.